hi you guys welcome back to another post review video so i finished my sneak peek you guys well more like my unboxing because this was a sneak peek for me but i was out of town when it came so i had to work on it when i got back home something i do want to make sure i let you guys know is that um when i get my sneak peeks i do like to work on them right away because I want to give you guys a review of the canvas, the quality, the drills, all that stuff, like in a good timely manner. And I feel that if I unbox a canvas, that's not really giving you guys a review. So that's one of the reasons why I work on my kits right away when I get them. That's just me. I'm not in a race or anything. I just like to work on them. And then if you guys want to see them completed to see if you want to make a purchase for yourself, um, yeah, so that's why I worked on this and that's why I will always work on my sneak peeks and I have done another Mary's Diamonds before um, Recently, so I will link that video the post review down in the description box below if you want to check it out I also will link this painting down below and anything pertaining to Mary's Diamonds and all that info And this painting is in stock right now if you want to check it out so the painting is from Mary's Diamonds, and this is the image here. Really, really pretty, you guys. I was so excited when I saw that this was the image I had. I'm like, when I get home, I have to work on it right away. So this is a license from the artist Leanne. It's called Under the Pastel Sea. Um, I did kit up in this Harbor Freight like long-term storage. I've seen this on several people's channels because this had so many colors. I wanted to use something that could hold a lot. So this holds a 54 of the little Harbor Freight um, containers. And then I just had to use the other ones just on top for the extra. So that's what I use for my kit up situation. I just wanted to show y'all that real quick. But yeah, back to the canvas. This is a 50 by 60 centimeters or a 19.68 by 23.62 inches. It had 59 colors and it had four AB um, diamonds in there. So let me go ahead and slowly pull it up so you guys can see. And then we'll get back later um, in the video so you guys can see the whole canvas because I really want you guys to see it because it is beautiful. This is a well, well, well rendered image. I absolutely love it. And this tail down here, you guys, with all these pastel colors and stuff, I was so upset when I finished working in this area because this is the actual area I finished in today. I was so upset because I was like, I want more of the tail. Like I wanted more of these colors because I enjoyed working with them. Um, something I didn't enjoy, and this is just me working um, on sections of the canvas. It has nothing to do with the actual canvas itself. Is the top part here all this like blue in the sky or not the sky the water and stuff i'm like oh let me get to some color to have some fun like i enjoyed doing the fish i enjoyed doing her face and everything something i did not enjoy working on you guys was the hair i just i didn't enjoy it i however love it i think it's beautiful oh it came out so good but i just i don't know i just did not enjoy working on it every time i got to a section with some of this blue and this purple, I was like, oh my gosh, not again. But I just, oh, I can't say enough things about this canvas. I think it's beautiful. Like I said, it's rendered great. Something I really love about Mary's Diamonds rendering, because I worked on my yellow fairy tale, and that was a woman as well, is that the outline they do, and like the hands right here, like the outlining of it is so awesome. Like I love it her fingernails and stuff even when you get kind of up close let me get kind of close you guys you see how the outline is it's so nice it really is so the canvas is good material um i remember when i did my unboxing of this i showed you guys the back and it was super wrinkled so like i said when you work on it the wrinkles come out there's no more wrinkles y'all they gone so that is awesome. So if you're worried about that sort of thing, do not worry. So I was happy about that. The stick on this canvas too was amazing. I don't know what kind of, like I know they're using the pork glue or whatever, but 
I don't know the curing or whatever something is making it super sticky and I love it it is some really really good stick on this canvas like I hear a pop every time I place a drill and I'm a single placer so that pop is so satisfying so yeah I always hear the pop um so let's talk about the ABs and I'm gonna show you guys where they are and then I'm gonna get back from the canvas so you guys can see it and then I'll tell you about the drills and all that stuff so we had four ABs let me show them to y'all so we had the the 310 AB that's the only thing I don't like about these containers is that they get stuck at the top and then they're like see they're falling all over the canvas oh gosh it's the only thing I hate about these Harbor Freight containers so we had the 310 AB which was this one and this was in all of the fish's eyes. So there, there, and then there's another little fish here at the bottom. And it's in both his eyes, and then it's in her eyes as well. So um, if you look at her eyes, you'll notice how they're on the tops of both eyelashes and then the bottom of one. So this area right here, oh my gosh, I can't hold it up. This area right here didn't have the AB there. I mean, I pulled these drills up several times to make sure. I'm like, is that supposed to be like that? So I left it how it was, you guys know. I don't like to mess with canvases, especially when I'm, you know, getting a canvas to review. I like to do it exactly how it's supposed to be. So there were no um, ABs there, but it doesn't look bad because she's kind of looking to the side. So it, it doesn't bother me at all. Another AB was the 210 AB, and it was this like muted pinky purple color is that gonna show i don't know but um this color was in her eyes so a little bit there up in her head headband thing and then in her necklace here was it in her necklace i don't know no i think it was in her eyes and in her um, headband here and i'm gonna be honest this was an ab i didn't really care too much for it gives a little sparkle, but um, it's okay. It's not making the canvas look bad or anything, so it's fine. But it wasn't an AB that was like a standout, standout AB for me. One of them that was was this 743 AB, and it was like this golden yellow orangish color. And this was in all of the fishes. So here in the fishes, uh, gills, fins, whatever they call them. And that was there too. So that was that. And then I had the 5200 AB, which this AB was like a really sparkling. Like this one sparkled more than anything else. So this AB was in her mirror here. So the little white specks that you see, that is that there. And it also was all down here at the bottom in her tail. So all these little white specks that you see, those are the AB, the 5200. And then there was some in her necklace here. Yeah, there was some in her necklace here as well. And they're not really sparkling that much, but again, they're there. They're nice. They don't change the look or anything of the canvas. The reason I wanted to show you guys her and um, talk about the symbols and everything else before I get out the video is because I wanted you to look at her for a little bit of time before I just show you her real quick and then exit the video. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys about the symbols and stuff. So the symbols are really great and clear. Um, I only used my light pad at night. Um, something that I thought was really hilarious was that... Um, there was three A's in this kit. So there was the capital letter A, the lowercase letter A, and then the lowercase letter A, I guess in cursive. So I did think at first, because initially like someone who's diamond painting is gonna look at those symbols and be like, oh, well, there's two A's, it's an issue. Like it wasn't an issue at all because the, the capital A was definitely not an issue, but when it came to these two, oh my gosh, focus, the lowercase um, A and the lowercase cursive A, that's what I call it, is they were significantly different on the canvas. They weren't next to each other. So 
this A here was her skin tone and then this A here was in the hair. So nowhere near each other. So if you get this canvas and you're a little panicky about that, do not be because that's something that I'm always panicky about. So the little mistake was fine because it wasn't an issue at all. Um, now, when it comes to the trash, here it is. I'm going to show you guys. So not bad at all for this size. Like I said, a 50 by 60, not bad at all. Some of the drills, I was having issues when it came to trash with the sizing. So some had extra like coating around it. So they were too big or some were like too small. So I just had to toss them. So um, that was just a little bit of, you know, like the trash issue, but um, they gave me plenty of diamonds. So I have more than enough, like for a whole nother canvas. Like I have a lot of drills left. So that's awesome. So it did counterbalance the trash. I really don't care about the trash because as long as I have enough drills to finish the canvas, that's all I care about. But anyways, you guys, that is my post review for my Mary's Diamonds under the Pastel Sea. I highly recommend you check out Mary's Diamonds. I love their canvases. I'm not just saying that just to say it. Like I sit here and I work on their canvases for hours and days. So I know what I'm saying that I really like their canvases. I love this canvas. I love the yellow fairy tale I worked on. So yeah, check them out. I'll link them below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do not forget to like, comment, share my video. You guys hit that subscribe button, that notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye.